Niagara Regional Chair Jim Bradley joins us this morning for an update on how Niagara is doing and how are you doing? I'm doing well, Bob, and uh, how's the new digs? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, we're looking forward to uh, inviting you in here. Uh, fantastic. We're all loving it. Are you loving the budget delivered yesterday? Uh, let's talk about what you liked and did not like pertaining to Niagara. Well, I, what I was happy about was that many of the uh, things that have been talked about or commitments have been made are actually appearing in the budget now, uh, because often uh, that's the final decision being made by the government. It's reflected in a budget, so we're happy to see that. I noticed that the Garden City Skyway will be doubled. That's been mentioned already, but we now see in the budget that they are going to proceed with that. Uh, the uh, uh, EMS offload delays at hospitals uh, where ambulances are held at hospitals. There's some funding for that, I think, which has been uh, positive. It's a good start, and uh, yeah, money we'll for... see how it works out. That, that's very, very good. Yeah, money for West Lincoln the, uh, Memorial. Yeah, broadband expansion in rural areas of the province will help us here in Niagara. And uh, the $45 million committed to help municipalities with their planning process is going to be useful as well. The details, in fairness to, to any provincial government, the details come uh, after the budget. So they'll be making announcements where they're much more specific and we'll be able to evaluate uh, th that at that time. When you mentioned a hospital or two hospitals. West Lincoln Memorial and the Niagara Falls Hospital uh, at, for Niagara South and located in Niagara Falls. Uh, the, we see funding for hospitals in the budget. So those projects which have been announced will be proceeded with. So uh, on that uh, basis, uh, I think we've seen some positives there. And I, I think uh, virtually everybody in the legislature would be in favor of those. Now, what um, disappointed you in the budget? What was missing for Niagara? Well, again, I, I think uh, we're, we're awaiting the details. Uh, we, we've been awaiting uh, the actual details of uh, all-day uh, GO service uh, right down to Niagara Falls. And there's reference in the budget to uh, transit uh, funding. Uh, we'll be looking for those specifics. And, that, uh, and again, in fairness to government, that comes after the budget itself. One thing I've always uh, wanted to see, no matter what government's in power, is funding for children's centers, children with special needs. Niagara, Niagara Children's Center just kicked off a campaign to raise $250,000. They did that yesterday, and uh, that the services provided there are just great for those kids who have very special challenges. And I always look in budgets for that, and uh, we always hope, again, as the details come out, that we'll see funding increased for our children's centers, which are so important to those kids and their families. Was there anything in there um, regarding housing affordability, which is a big issue in Niagara? Uh, I, I think that, uh, we again, we await the details, but when there's funding allocated for housing, we then make our pitch as a municipality for our share of the funding. And uh, I know the federal and provincial government are working together on funding uh, projects for uh, right across the province. And we look for the, those details coming forward. Uh, certainly there's been a commitment to that, and that's positive. Uh, the specifics will be what we're looking for as the weeks go on. Right. This is more of an election platform than an actual budget, and it, it may take a different shape uh, once it's uh, passed. Well, that naturally, that naturally happens when you're in an election approaching. Uh, the government is obviously going to put forward its budget and and what it believes is good for the province and the opposition parties will say what they think of that and make their proposals. But, but that's not unusual for to have a, like they always say, an election right. budget. Yeah. That's yeah. natural for all governments in yeah. power. Well, thanks for sharing your thoughts this morning and we uh, look forward to our regular chats.